For the Baldwin schools was back on the basketball court today and it looks like he'll be back on it for a while. This came after stepping down as the district superintendent. WTVA's Alexis Jones was in Baldwin where the new coach said he needed a change of pace. I'm here at Baldwin High School's gym where former superintendent Jason McKay said he's happy to finally have a basketball back in his hands. Baldwin is what I think is one of the best basketball programs in the state of Mississippi and one that I have loved for a very long time. Jason McKay worked as Baldwin High School's basketball coach for 11 years before he became the superintendent in 2014. McKay said he decided to coach again simply because it's what he loves to do. I think at the end of the day, if you love what you're doing, it makes your life a lot easier. Coach McKay said he doesn't feel like he took a step down. He said being the superintendent for seven years was a great job, but the basketball court feels like home. This is something truly that every day I walk in this gym, this is not a job. This is something that I love to do. Coach McKay said he hopes the community comes out to show support for the team's first game in November. In Baldwin, Alexis Jones, WTVA 9 News. Some financial assistance for college students, current and prospective students will be able to complete a free application for federal student aid. The students will be able to take their share of $150 billion in federal student aid. That includes loans, grants, scholarships and work study for the 2022-2023 school year. The aids on a first come first serve basis. 68% of students and their families submitted the form last year, which was down from 71% from the year before. It's slim pickings at CarMax. The company said inventory at the end of August was down 30%, and it's all because of COVID and winter production problems. The company CEO says that he sees inventory shortages improving, and the company is on track to grow its inventory over the rest of the year. Demand for used vehicles skyrocketed during the pandemic. A shortage of semiconductor chips caused automakers to slash their new car production, like Toyota. The increased demand for used cars sent prices soaring through the roof, which bolstered sales over at CarMax. Rent prices, yeah, they're going up across the United States, soaring, I should say, moving far away from the discounts and the so-called pandemic pricing that some parts of the USA saw for much of 2020. A new report showed the national median rent rose to a little more than $1,300 in September. So how much of a difference? It's a 15% jump from a year ago. In fact, prices are going up faster than they were before the pandemic started. Since January, the national median rent increased by 16.4%. Well, now's the time to book your Thanksgiving and Christmas getaways. That is, if you haven't already. Expedia released its holiday travel forecast. According to the travel website, the popular destinations this year include, what a shock, beaches. Who doesn't love beaches, but specifically beaches in Mexico. You, Craig. And the mountains in Utah and in Colorado. Some places seeing the biggest jump in searches this year. St. Croix in the Virgin Islands, Salt Lake City, Gainesville, Florida. That's a Gainesville. shocker. Huh. This one's a shocker too, no offense, but Allentown, Pennsylvania and Estes Park, Colorado. Expedia said flexibility is key when it comes to holiday travel. The website said avoid flying on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Also avoid flying on December 23rd as well as December 28th because they are often the busiest and, more importantly, the most expensive dates to fly. Interesting. Wouldn't have guessed it. it made, it's made of metal, and it's meant to last. And you'll never believe it, but dogs took it down. We'll tell you how they did it straight ahead. Stay with us. I will uh, be very careful as to what I say. But I mean, I guess it would make sense if you think about what's in urine. It's acidic. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Okay.
Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I wrote a lot of long words. <laughs> projectiles. Geological projectiles. Specimens. Right, right. New at five. I'm going to preface this with police say that dog urine caused this traffic light pole in central Japan to collapse. The average lifespan of a traffic light pole in Japan is, you know, 50 years. But this one was found snapped at the young age of 23 years after it was installed. Police say that urea and sodium contained in dog's urine caused the erosion. Basically, it's acidic. They detected around 40 times more urea than other poles. Police are asking dog owners in the area to have their fluffy friends do their business somewhere else. Now I'm curious. I'm wondering if that's happened elsewhere. I mean, it has to have, right? Yeah, you think so? I mean, the dogs go right for it every time. Uh, yeah, that yeah. they do. I, I, I know having four of them in my house. But no, seriously, I, I could, you know, when we first, before we came back on the air, we're like, what? Huh? But when you think about it, it I makes, can see it. It makes perfect yeah. sense. And if you're, I don't know if you walk all four dogs at one time, but four dogs, that's a lot. That's a, Well, at least at my place, that's a good reason to have a fenced yard. Yes, I don't have I to have walk them. Just let them too. out the door, let them run until they dig, they their, way dig out. their way out. Yeah. And then that's a problem. Little genius dogs. They are geniuses. A little annoying, too, but Aww. you can't live without them. It's sweet. We thank you for making us your choice for the news at 5. We'll both be back in 30 minutes for WTVA 9 News at 6.
Tonight on WTVA 9 News at 10, a 17 year old girl set to graduate in just a few months found dead by a family member after an accident in Union County. We'll hear from her mother tonight on WTVA 9 News at 10. Yes, I have not been able to put that in. Hold on. Is that Rhea's story, the EMT? Yes. No, that's the ICC video. Hold on. I didn't even finish writing that. Hold on. Okay, it should be in there now. In a major junior college matchup, ICC versus Northeast tonight. They go head to head. The score and highlights tonight. At, I didn't spell any of this right. Tonight at 10. Okay. Coming up tonight on WTVA, 9 News at 10. A 17 year old girl set to graduate in May found dead by a family member after an accident in Union County. We hear from her mother. He spent 30 years dedicating his life and career to the medical field. And although the pandemic changed a lot of what he does, his passion for the job has not faded. And a major junior college matchup tonight, ICC versus Northeast. They go head to head. We'll have the scores and highlights coming up tonight.
30 years has flown by. Local, late breaking. This is WTBA 9 News. When you look at what's happened around the country, there are a lot of teachers that weren't in the classroom last year. When you look around what's happening in this neck of the woods, there are a lot of teachers that were in the classroom last year. What you are seeing today is an example of inclusion, inclusion within schools. And so the four schools that are here today are playing unified basketball. So there are children with and without exceptional abilities.
got up the next morning and, and she, never, she wasn't in her bed. If you knew her, you knew love. Craig, what am I supposed to be looking at? Where where do I need to look at for traffic? Okay. Thirty years has flown by. Live, local, late breaking. This is WTVA Nine News. Years later, he still gets just excited. <laughs> Big's a hazard style, busting all the moonshine up. Mic check one two three. Mic check one two three. 